Looking ahead now to the historic eclipse. It, we're just 10 days away from the first total solar eclipse in almost 100 years. And while it will be visible here, some people are getting ready to hit the road to get an even better look. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live now with the story. Steph. Well, there has been a lot of hype leading up to this historic eclipse and for good reason, because a total solar eclipse hasn't spanned the U.S. since before most Americans were born. And now people are flocking to the best places to view it. We can either go to South Carolina. It hasn't happened in 99 years, so people are already preparing for the August 21st total eclipse, buying special sunglasses and mapping out road trips. Because we're weather geeks, we thought it was awesome that we were able to see the path of totality. Sarah Levake from North Smithfield is planning to drive south to find a place to see the total eclipse. The Pinpoint Weather intern is an aspiring meteorologist and will hit the road with fellow atmospheric science majors. We might end up going to Tennessee to watch it depending on the clouds. A total solar eclipse is the rare event when the moon completely blocks the sun from view. Here in Rhode Island, we'll only get a partial eclipse. The shadow it creates is called a penumbra. But we have to see the whole total eclipse. But in the so-called path of totality, where Sarah is headed, spanning from Oregon to South Carolina, you'll be able to see the total eclipse in all its rare glory. I think it's a big deal because it hasn't happened in so long, and a lot of people who remember it were really, really young. And it's really cool to just go down, and then at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it just get pitch black for about two minutes, and then it just becomes sunny again. And so Sarah says her group will either go to Georgia, South Carolina or Tennessee, depending on the cloud forecast to try and find the best spot. If you are planning to watch the eclipse from anywhere, you will need to wear protective glasses. We have more information on eye safety during this historic event on WPRI.com. Reporting live tonight, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.